Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petraka. A quick update on this uh, pinpoint weather alert with the rain and wind on the increase. This is as of uh, 9.30 this evening, almost 10 o'clock. Wind advisory is in effect. Technically, it goes into effect uh, 11 o'clock Thursday night through at least Friday morning for Providence Point south and east. The area is shaded in light brown. Southerly gusts of uh, 45 to 50 uh, miles per hour possible outside of the advisory area north and west of Providence, gusts somewhere between 35 and 45. And essentially, this is during the overnight hours and into very early on Friday morning. So our threat tracker overnight into Friday morning with incre uh, increasing uh, rain and wind. Looking at uh, downpours early on Friday morning, it uh, will impact the uh, morning commute. Wind gusts still in that range of 40 to 50 miles per hour out of the south. Can even be a few isolated thunderstorms early Friday morning. Uh, some localized kind of minor street flooding, so certainly slower travel. But it does dry out by Friday afternoon. It remains um, cloudy, but drier the second half of the day. So here's the latest satellite and radar composite. And you can see the first batch of rain associated with a warm front that's passing through right now. A few heavy downpours, not out of the question to get maybe a little isolated thunder uh, out of this in some spots. Look at the temperature going up. In fact, overnight, we're going to be rising well into the 50s. In fact, close to 60 in some areas, 60 degrees by Friday morning. But there's more precipitation off to our south and west. This area has to come in overnight and very early on Friday morning before it all dries out Friday afternoon. So let's advance the map. And here we are um, about 8, 9 o'clock on Friday morning. You can see a line of some very heavy rain and wind and some thunder out ahead of a cold front. But this is very progressive. Watch how rapidly this pulls offshore. So by the second half of the day, Friday afternoon at about 2 o'clock, most of the rain has moved offshore. It is drier but remaining cloudy and very mild as well. So the worst of the weather in terms of rain and wind is really overnight and very early Friday morning. Here we are Friday evening at 7 o'clock. You don't need the umbrella. It is dry with some partial clearing. So here's the breakdown Friday morning. It is stormy early, especially 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the mornings and heavy downpours, windy, a few isolated thunderstorms, temperatures 55 to near 60. It'll feel like spring, but unfortunately it has uh, heavy downpours, thunderstorms, and some strong wind. Showers become lighter by 11 a.m. and then drier Friday afternoon, but mostly cloudy. Temperatures remaining in the 50s. Uh, no surprise here. Gale warning on the bay and offshore stay in port. Strong winds. South, southwest, 15 to 25, gust of 40, 45 knots, uh, big waves, and the poor visibility during the morning with uh, rain and thunder, and then improving during uh, the afternoon hours. It does dry out on, uh, on Friday afternoon, Friday night. Saturday, not bad. A tough call, though, for Sunday. Uh, seeing signs of an offshore storm, it may graze the area Sunday with at least some light rain and light snow. Check back with us on that. Uh, right now, Martin Luther King Monday looks uh, cool and dry. You definitely want to check in. Well, check in with us tonight on our newscast at 10 and 11 o'clock. And meteorologist Michelle Muscatello early on Friday morning with an update on some of this rain and wind.